All right, as we look here at what's going on across the area for today, uh, we might have a couple booms in our air, with all thanks to some isolated thunderstorms because we're back to a pretty typical weather pattern in store. As we look here at the weather story, a few coastal showers at this hour, but we are going to see that summer heat and those storms return. And that's where we're going to stay over the next couple of days as we will see rain chances between about a 30 to 50%. And as we start heating up, the tropics also heating up. We're watching two areas out there. One now has a name. The other one is worth watching, although it's really not looking very impressive on our imagery right now. This is looking impressive, a beautiful shot as the sun starts to rise. Sun, sunrise will be at about 648, so just a couple, uh, probably about 30 minutes or so away. But as we look at our current conditions, oh, it doesn't look like a clicker wants to work. Now it does. 77 degrees right now in Orlando, humidity at 83. Uh, I should say temperature in 83 in Melbourne, 74 in Ocala. The winds are calm or moving in from the east-southeast, and that's going to continue to pump in that heat and humidity. It is a muggy start to the morning, but we are looking mostly dry across most areas at this hour, with the exception of southern Brevard County. 79 right now in Daytona Beach, 77 in Orlando, 74 in Ocala, 78. And temperatures are, gonna, are going to continue to warm up. Feels like temperatures right now already feeling like 93 down in the Melbourne area. So here's what's going on on the radar. We are again tracking a few of those lone showers making their way in across Southern Brevard County. One is now pushing past 95 just north of 192 in uh, far western zones of Melbourne. But overall, that is going to be most of the activity for the next few hours. We will start to fire up those afternoon showers and thunderstorms after about 2 o'clock. So here's the two areas we are watching in the tropics. We are watching this one area out there. It is Invest 99L, basically what you need to no, it's not looking very impressive. It has been ripped apart a little bit by the um, environment surrounding it for that reason. They're giving it a low 20% chance of it becoming our next name storm within the next five days. That one's worth watching as it tracks a bit closer towards Central Florida by the end of the week and into the weekend. Of course, we'll have plenty of times to watch it. But as of now, this is the main system we're watching. It is Tropical Storm Franklin. It has a name as of yesterday night. We have uh, so we do have watches and warnings in effect for the Yucatan Peninsula, but it will not be a concern for us here in Central Florida. As you you can see the forecast cone has it making its way towards the west northwest and making its way right back into Mexico by the end of the week. But where you live by by 4 p.m. today back here at home again, a big concern for today will be the heat and those afternoon thunderstorms. Any three will be our high in Orlando. Clouds rain forecast looking like we will stay mostly dry with the clouds building in after about two o'clock. A few scattered showers will start firing up. Our northwestern zones could be in store for some strong storms by about eight, nine o'clock. And then all that activity shifts towards the west and not a concern for us throughout the overnight hours. Now let's check on your hour by hour forecast. Your forecast brought to you by Dell Air Heating and Air Conditioning. 93 degrees will be our high by 4 p.m. with rain coverage at about 40 percent. Very average day on tap. Later on tonight, we'll take some time to cool down to the upper 70s. but are looking mostly dry with rain coverage at a slim 20 percent. Now let's roll out here your next seven days. You can see that we will stay near normal rain coverage between about 40 to 50 percent with our highs hovering near average between 91 and 94.